What does it take to revolutionize the world? To answer that, let's dive into the life of the man who did it, Steve Jobs. Born in the vibrant city of San Francisco, California, in 1955, Steve was adopted as an infant by a hard-working blue-collar couple, Paul and Clara Jobs. His adoptive parents, who hailed from Mountain View, California, were far from affluent but they were rich in values and instilled in their son a tenacious work ethic from an early age. Paul Jobs, a mechanic and a carpenter, introduced young Steve to the world of electronics in their family garage. This was a time when the seeds of curiosity were sown in Steve's mind. The garage became a playground for Steve's imagination, a place where he could take things apart, figure out their mechanisms, and put them back together. This early fascination for electronics was not just a hobby, but a passion that would shape the course of his life. Steve's high school years were equally pivotal. His interest in technology deepened and he spent many a late night immersed in the world of computers and coding. It was here that he met Steve Wozniak, a fellow tech enthusiast, who would later become a significant figure in Steve's journey. Despite his humble beginnings, Steve Jobs was never just an ordinary boy from San Francisco. His relentless curiosity, his passion for technology, and his unwavering belief in his abilities set him apart from the crowd. He was a visionary, even then, with a dream to change the world. And change the world he did. He wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth, nor did he have a privileged upbringing. But he had something far more valuable, a burning desire to innovate, to disrupt, and to create. He had the courage to dream big, to challenge conventions, and to follow his heart, even when the path was fraught with challenges. So a boy with a love for technology but how did he become the icon we know today, let's explore. Steve Jobs didn't follow the traditional path. He dropped out of college but was that a setback or a setup for success? In fact, Jobs' journey to becoming a tech icon was anything but typical. Born in San Francisco, he was adopted by a working class couple from Mountain View, California. His early life was marked by curiosity and a keen interest in the workings of the world around him. Yet, the traditional educational system didn't quite satiate his thirst for knowledge. After graduating from high school, Jobs enrolled at Reed College in Portland, Oregon. An expensive liberal arts college, it soon became a financial burden on his parents. He decided to drop out after just six months but he didn't leave the campus. Instead, he started auditing the classes that intrigued him, like calligraphy. He slept on the floor in friends' rooms recycling Coke bottles for food money and getting weekly free meals at a local Hare Krishna temple. Jobs' college dropout phase wasn't a time of aimless wandering but rather a time of focused exploration. This was also the period when he traveled to India in search of spiritual enlightenment, a journey that deeply influenced his worldview and approach to business. He returned to the United States with a shaved head and traditional Indian clothing, carrying with him the principles of Zen Buddhism that would later permeate the culture of Apple Inc. These experiences shaped his unique outlook on life and business. He believed in the integration of arts and technology, an idea that was considered radical at the time but is now widely embraced. His travels and explorations, though unconventional, equipped him with a broader perspective and a deep understanding of the world beyond technology. Jobs' unconventional path wasn't a detour from success, but a journey towards it. He didn't just drop out of college, he tuned into an education of a different kind, one that went beyond textbooks and classrooms. His story is a testament to the fact that the road less traveled can indeed make all the difference. With a new perspective, Jobs was ready to make his mark in the world of technology. In a garage in Los Altos, California, a revolution was brewing. This was the birth of Apple. Steve Jobs, a college dropout with a vision to make computers accessible to everyday people, partnered with his friend, Steve Wozniak, a self-taught engineer with a knack for innovation. Together they formed Apple Computer Inc. in the year 1976, a venture that began in the Jobs family garage. Their first product was the Apple I, a single board computer for hobbyists. With a price tag of just under $500, it was a machine you could build yourself. But it was the Apple II, released in 1977, that would become the flagship product of the Apple line. The Apple II was a game changer. It was an all-in-one computer that came fully assembled. It had a color display, something unheard of at the time. This was a computer designed for the masses, not just the tech savvy. It was a computer for the home, the classroom, the small business. It was a computer for everyone and the world took notice. The Apple II was a commercial success, and it set the standard for personal computing. It ignited a revolution in the way we live and work, paving the way for the digital age. 
But the birth of Apple was not just about creating innovative products, it was about a new way of thinking. Jobs and Wozniak didn't just want to build computers, they wanted to create technology that was intuitive, elegant, and fun. They wanted to make a dent in the universe, and they did. Apple was on the rise with Jobs at the helm, but the journey was not always smooth sailing. Success is never a straight path. For Jobs, it was a roller coaster of highs and lows. This statement couldn't be more true for anyone than it was for Steve Jobs. In 1985, just a decade after co-founding Apple, Jobs found himself ousted from the very company that he had built. It was a devastating blow, a fall from grace that could have marked the end for many. But not for Steve Jobs. With his indomitable spirit, Jobs did not let this setback define him. Instead, he used it as a springboard to launch his next venture. He founded Next, a computer platform development company. Next was innovative, ahead of its time. It didn't achieve the mainstream success that Apple had, but the lessons Jobs learned and the technology he developed at Next laid the groundwork for his future triumphs. Around the same time, Jobs made another significant move. He saw potential in a small computer graphics division of Lucasfilm. So, he bought it for $10 million and named it Pixar. This investment might have seemed like a gamble at the time, but it paid off in a big way. Pixar revolutionized the world of animation and has since become a household name, creating beloved films that have touched the hearts of millions around the globe. Then, in a twist of fate, Apple bought Next in 1997, and Jobs found himself back at the helm of the company he had co-founded. It was a triumphant return, a second act that few could have predicted. Jobs didn't just pick up where he left off, he took Apple to heights that were previously unimaginable. He spearheaded the creation of groundbreaking products like the iPod, iPhone, and iPad, redefining the tech industry and the way we live our lives. Jobs' return to Apple marked a new era, one that would change the tech industry forever. His journey was not without its trials, but through it all, Jobs remained a visionary, a trailblazer who was always looking to the future. His story is a testament to the power of resilience, innovation, and sheer determination. Steve Jobs didn't just change Apple, he changed the world. His relentless pursuit of perfection and innovation was the driving force behind some of the most groundbreaking technological advancements of the 21st century. Let's delve a little deeper into how Jobs' visionary leadership led to the creation of three revolutionary products, the iPod, iPhone, and iPad. These devices didn't merely redefine their respective markets, they effectively created new ones, setting the benchmark for all future innovations. Firstly, the iPod. Launched in 2001, this pocket-sized music player revolutionized the way we consume music. It made music portable in a way that had never been seen before. Suddenly everyone had the ability to carry a thousand songs in their pocket. Not only did it change how we listen to music but it also altered the entire music industry, shifting it towards digital distribution. Next, the iPhone. Introduced in 2007, this device was so much more than a phone. It was a computer in the palm of your hand. A camera, a music player, an internet communicator all rolled into one. It was a leap forward that redefined what a phone could be, and it set the stage for the smartphone era. The iPhone didn't just change the phone industry, it transformed our way of life. Lastly, the iPad. Unveiled in 2010, this device bridged the gap between smartphones and laptops. It brought about a new era of personal computing redefining the tablet industry. The iPad demonstrated that technology could be both powerful and intuitive. Steve Jobs, with his uncanny ability to anticipate consumer needs and his commitment to sleek user-friendly design, forever changed how we interact with technology. His influence extends beyond Apple, reshaping entire industries and the way we live our daily lives. And so, we conclude with this. Steve Jobs, a visionary who transformed our everyday lives, reminding us that the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. So what can we learn from Steve Jobs' life and achievements? Let's take a moment to reflect on the key points covered in our journey through the life of Steve Jobs. We've seen how a boy from San Francisco dared to follow a non-traditional path, dropping out to tune in to his true passions. This audacious step led to the birth of Apple, a testament to his innovative thinking. Even in the face of trials and triumphs, Jobs' resilience shone through. He faced challenges head-on, turning setbacks into stepping stones. His journey, filled with highs and lows, is a testament to his tenacity, and a reminder that the road to success is rarely a straight line. Jobs' legacy of innovation 
continues to shape the tech industry. His relentless pursuit of insanely great products transformed our world and redefined the boundaries of technology. As we navigate our own paths, may we remember Steve Jobs' journey, his tenacity, and his relentless pursuit of innovation. Before we wrap up, we have a small request. If you enjoyed this journey through the life of Steve Jobs and found it inspiring, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more inspiring content coming your way. Also, if you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up. Your likes help us to understand what sort of content you find most valuable, and they help to spread the word about our channel. Lastly, we urge you to share this video with your network. By sharing, you're not just supporting us but also spreading this message of resilience, innovation, and daring to think differently. Together, we can inspire change and build a powerful community. Thank you for watching and remember as Steve Jobs once said, the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do.